is go to pmi.org this is the organization which provides the CAPM certification if you click here you're gonna see CAPM uh, somewhere so this is PMP CAPM certification now to apply for CAPM certification this is the certification window you need to first register now click on register create your registration credentials what you need to do is uh, write your first name last name your email id and then few more information about yourself write that these are all optional and create your password security question is important because that way you can retrieve your password in case um, anything happens and create your account once you create your account then you can go ahead and log in now this is the account which has been created just log into your account and um, now you are all set to apply for CAPM registration or CAPM credential to apply just go to CAPM credential certificate here and click on apply here now here it says the uh, because I was working on the credential certification here I would go ahead and uh, here click on apply for CAPM now when you apply for CAPM you would um, you know you would have this CAPM application coming in just click on continue application in case you have left it in between otherwise you will directly come to this window which I'm gonna show you here uh, this is the CAPM application which is currently getting loaded um, the academic qualification gonna come from remember you were logging in you were creating your credentials and then um, they asked you your optional things here you you the data is picked up from there you can edit your education if there is a need so you are supposed to have a degree um, in academic uh, you know you have to have 12 plus uh, four year of degree so write that and then the education from where have you done the course from the CAPM course now here what you need to do is write the CAPM course provider name as Kavita Sharma and then course title is pass CAPM in 21 days um, when did you do the course from so you started the course from let's say January 2023 and you finished your course in February 2023 qualifying hours right qualifying hours this is a certificate you would download from the um, you know from my website from Kavita Sharma LMS uh, from the course and click on save education now um, the education here if you look at it you are eligible for the CAPM exam so this is done continue to exam details and here write down your location where exactly you would want to take the exam from um, your address write down your address email address phone number and then it's name on the certificate once you do all of that you should be able to um, click on save and submit the application you can select your you know your place as India if it is India or some other place the understand whatever place you're gonna write the um, you know the payment would be as per the place which you have written and the um, you know you can take the exam because it depends on the location where exactly you are at so you sh you are allowed to take the exam only from that location that nationality or that nation so once you click on that um, you can click on submit save name and then submit the application once you submit the application you will um, be eligible for the CAPM certification let's see what's gonna come on the next screen so if you look at the status the CAPM application is submitted on today's date and then the application gonna be reviewed by PMI help desk 
um, check your emails for the status on approval etc the next step is payment now at that point of time you can make a decision to um, become a member and pay the fee which which would be reduced fee or you would want to just pay the fee directly that's a decision which you need to make um, just go to the uh, you know mathematics of it and see which one makes sense for you the application now I after some point of time five or ten minutes if I go to the dashboard you will receive an email that your application is approved not approved so check your inbox or after some one day or 30 minutes go log into PMI go to the dashboard um, come here and then go to the dashboard so once you gonna go to the dashboard you will, you will see your CAPM application status here the application is approved that means you are eligible to sit for CAPM exam anytime from today till next one year look at the date eligibility expiration date is 7 june 2024 that means you are eligible from today to next one year to sit for the exam the next thing is uh, submit the payment let's click on this and see what is it um it's gonna ask you what is that which you're gonna be doing um you know uh, focused on the previous exam or the new exam i would suggest that you select the capm pilot this is a better exam and uh, go for and this is where the exam is uh, you know the course which you have gone through is this course which is a new course so start off with this and um, continue Now because the location which I have selected was India, the payment which you see is shown in Indian currency. Um, however, whatever payment link which you get from INR or USD, see what makes sense for you. Do you want to become a member and then pay for the CAPM fee or without becoming a member the CAPM fee is better. So again, the website is very slow. Um, just wait for some time and see what is that which you get on the screen. Typically, PMI provides, uh, you know, some kind of cumulative discount membership plus the CAPM certification and you get um, something good on your screen. So select the membership. If I were you, I will select being a member because that way you get to have um, you know, PM box access, standard access, you can view many publications, you can volunteer with PMI, um, you can also, you know, be part of discussion forums at PMI or projectmanagement.com. Screen which I got, um, in case sometimes your screen hangs, just do a refresh again on PMI.org and you're going to get your um, you know your payment link now here um, it says that the certification fee the examination fee is 16.2 INR and if you are a member then it is only 12.2 um, the member fee membership fee uh, let's see how much is the membership fee so if I go to dashboard and click on you know be I want to also add membership here you can become a member so here you can become a member you go to dashboard you wanna get the screen click on become a member and then this is the membership which is there in INR um, you can also become a member if you are a student so try and see most of the CAPM uh, people are student Try and see if you can get that. Otherwise, um, become a member. These are the benefits of what are the membership benefits. Um, select that and click on join PMI. If you don't want to become a member, you don't want to avail this benefit, you can just go to your cart and then pay for the CAPM fee. Um, how do you pay for this fee? Now, 
the um, you know education foundation if you want you can pay something here if you don't want don't um, so that's the uh, decision point which you need to do um, see if you have you know a membership option of taking a membership as a student that's gonna serve you better you would save on money but um, if you are only saving 4000 the membership fee is 7k which is you know then you need to pay more here um, so I'll just go ahead and check out the CAPM exam so continue to check out and then do all your billings in case there's a promo code PMI keep on releasing promo code code for CAPM if there's any just write that otherwise pay by debit or credit card online and that's pretty much it once you fill up all these details you should be able to pay once you pay your application is approved there is no verification process there is no audit process now your application is approved and you can sit for the exam from home or from a center for the next one year that's how you file the CAPM application if you have more questions, you can write to help at kavitasharma.net.